Uh, every human being are political animals. Uh, at the right time, we normally lend our voice to a political situation in the country. But the organization still remain non-partisan organization. But uh, because of our followership and the interest of the Yoruba people, at the right time, we always lend our, po our, our yes. voice to the issue of politics. But we don't want our agenda to be a political agenda. Mm. Mm. So that uh, people will not see you as an organization that affiliate to one political party. After the end of the politics, anything you say that, ah, you are reflecting on the agenda of this political mm. party. Mm. So we always been very, very careful when a political activities, especially when election is coming. But at the right time, we always issue a statement on political situation of the country. Beautiful. The second one. The, the second one is that your lifestyle, lifestyle has changed. Well, you don't expect me to be poor and a person that has started the struggle since 1994. Uh, a, a person who is working in the ministry for almost 20 years will have been a certain level in the ministry. And even though you are doing a business for a period of 20 years, your lifestyles can be changed, could have been changed through the period of 20 years. And a person that is leading a, a, a population of about 6 million people, <laughs> you don't expect him to be a poor person. No, uh, a situation I have now, I'm not so poor and I'm not rich, yeah. but I'm comfortable. comfortable. So, talking of the richness, we thank God for the level we have now. All right. Um, the last question here from SMS is from a Simon. He says, you were quoted as saying a certain political leader in the southwest has bought everything in Lagos. You were quoted to have said that a certain political leader in the southwest has bought everything in Lagos. Did you say anything like that? Or were you misquoted? Or do you want to voice well, opinion on that? Well, well uh, an issue like this was an interview okay. through one of the daily newspaper. And I said it that a certain political leader, I expect him to mention the name of that political Well, he did not. Maybe he just be careful. <laughs> so, but we, you can, because uh, you are on the hot seat. Uh, so you, you have the prerogative to let Nigerians well, know. Well, uh, when I said a certain political have uh, got most of the things we have in Lagos, I, I'm so right about it. Uh, one of the responsibility of the OPC and as a leader of the organization is to criticize anything that is wrong in Yoruba land and the entire Nigeria. But notwithstanding, uh, when you issue a statement, people will come to you that uh, because of the interest of the Yoruba people, your statement is very, very volatile. Mm -hmm. Anything you say, people react to it in different form. You have to pipe low on certain issues. We have agreed on that, that the uh, issue like that, I should handle it in a diplomatic way. I should not continue pressing on it because of the interest of the Yoruba. Because now we are pressing for the unity of the Yoruba people, which is very, very paramount to us. Uh, apart from political activities, we have a platform that uh, we are bringing more leaders from Yoruba people to champion the cause of the Yoruba people. Okay, so I hope that will not be a compromise on your principles. No, no, no. no now, no. there's a caller online. There's a caller online. Yes, please, can we, can we have your name and where you're calling from, please? Can we have your name and where you're calling from? Hello? Hello? I think we have lost him. I think we have lost him. Okay, but you have the number on your screen now, 081-291-81416. Please let the calls come in because uh, Otumba has said to me privately before we came on set that he's ready to answer any question from anywhere, either from Abuja or from Kaduna or from Sekoto or... Uh, Court. So please let the uh, calls keep coming in and um, don't forget to also put your questions and comments on the YouTube uh, uh, uploading when it comes up later. Now, in barely 20 years since OPC uh, had been formed, yeah. you had already uh, created such an impressive you know, image for the organization. Um, some people dread OPC, some people are wary of OPC, uh, nobody ignores OPC. You just must have, you must have, uh, you must be guarded when you're dealing with the OPC. Okay, we have a caller online. Yes, please. Maybe know who you are and where you're calling from, please. 
<laughs> okay, well, because we don't like to lose our colors, unfortunately. Okay. Now, okay, all right, so let's just finish that question. Now, why has it become so difficult with this larger than life image of OPC? Why has it difficult, become so difficult for OPC to help Nigeria overcome the. Mr. Lawa, no, I must, Mr. Mr. Lawa, you have to hold on. Let me ask Otumba this question. Mr. Lawa, please hold on, please. Please hold on. Thank you very much. Why has it become difficult for OPC? to help especially like you said so much blood being shed across the country why have you not collaborated with other security agencies to stem this tide of uh, bombings killings and all that that's going on everywhere after all your people are dying in the north well it's quite difficult uh, for opc to involve in anything is that is happening in the north uh, the only place we have the power and uh, we have the privilege to assist in, is the southwest mm. because the nigerian security agency will not allow you to do their job for them uh, nigeria army will not allow opc to do their job with them likewise in the nigerian police it's only your jurisdiction which is the southwest that you can do anything yeah okay mr lawa sorry for keeping you holding on please i'm sorry about that but can we have your question can we have your question and where you're calling from please Thank you very much. I'm yep. calling from Mededa. Um, yep. I've actually one time with uh, Otumba Gani Adam. When I did my research in... Uh, you, you, the, you, need to lower the, you need to lower the set. You need to the volume of your set so we can Otumba can hear you because... Uh, yeah, but, but the volume of my set is totally reduced. Uh, okay, all right. Okay. Okay, so the question I want to ask you, I don't know what they are doing concerning the issue of unemployment rate. When we look at our fast western The issue of unemployment in southwest Nigeria. The issue of, I think that's actually his question, the issue of unemployment in southwest Nigeria. Uh, unfortunately, we are not in power to give employment to the people. But the, one of the, one of the cardinal objective of the OPC is to encourage the government to employ people. In our own group, Hardly will you have a member of OPC that will tell you that they don't have a job now. Mm. Either you are being connected with people or you have the opportunity mm. to do a security job. But when you are talking of uh, unemployment to the entire Yoruba people, uh, it's the responsibility of the government and the responsibility of the investors So to employ people in Yoruba land, even in Nigeria. It's not the responsibility of the OPC. Okay, um, we have another caller online. Mr. Lawal, I hope that answered your question. Yes, may we know who you are and where you're calling from, please? Hello. 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 Hello, good morning. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Can you just speak up, please? So, my, my question is what is the, uh, the plan of the OPC as a body in trying to foster good governance, especially in election monitoring come 2015? That's what, that is my, my question. Come 2015, what is OPC doing to ensure good governance? Well, when you are talking of good governance, uh, we have done a lot on that. Uh, through our agitation, we have sensitized the government in power that we need good governance, uh, we need development, we need a country that we can compare like Europe or Americans. Well, he's, he's speaking specifically about election monitoring. No, apart from, there's two things, good governance and election monitoring. Yeah. Uh, the issue of election monitoring, it depends on the INEC. Maybe they will allow OPC mm. to monitor the election. They have the full, full power to do it, to bring an organization that will monitor election with them. And we don't want a situation that anything will happen in a polling boat, they will now castigate OPC that is cause of that election. The social we always give during, during the election is that go to the polling booth and yeah, vote and, go, and go back to your house. <laughs> and uh, thank God with the kind of system we have from the INEC led by Jega, the, lack, the last election did not encourage legalism, did not encourage a situation that you will pick away the ballot box and you go it's and read the result of that place. When you go to the polling booth, you register your name. After 12, you come back to the polling booth and you vote. And you stay there, they will count the election, you will know the figure of the people, the person who won the election. So, in a situation like that, we have a le less stress from the organization that we even monitor the election apart from INEC. Not that I said, not, I'm not saying that we will not have the election monitoring group. 
the international observer will be there, but we have a less stress of having different organizations join the ele election monitoring groups. I hope